The molecular gastronomy is involving science to create new taste and texture. Well, we're, uh, we're chocolatier who have a very keen interest in science. What we wanted to do, because we want to understand the process of uh, all of the aspects of making chocolate, so we thought we have to make our own chocolate. <laughs> so what we want to do is we want to, we don't, we're not necessarily just interested in cooking, we're interested in the science of cooking and how we can apply science every day, yet still to make food, but to make great food and repeatedly the same great food time after time using science as a, as a method of standardization. We, we had quite a bit of interest and, and knowledge already as far as doing lab work, doing research, etc. And then we took that knowledge and, and applied it to the world of food. And a lot of techniques are very much the same. We're taking a concept that originated from the lab and then now we can make it as a food that has a new taste and texture. The whole idea about, uh, about all the projects that we do is typically to try to get something as an end result, an end product. The, the project that we're doing with these students is actually to validate methods that we develop with Cindy and I, uh, how to get the best result for uh, roasting the beans. So we found an experimental roaster that combines microwave and uh, convection at different temperature. So what the students will be doing for us is measure the amount of acidity that we can get rid of using that uh, experimental roaster and validate whether or not what our original findings uh, are correct or not. In this case, it was a bean to bar, so we wanted to be the first uh, small artisan, uh, small batch, small scale production that would make chocolate from bean to bar in, in our own lab. And um, through UBC, we've had a, a lot of resources that um, allowed us to do that. Find a formula, we can actually use that as well too, so we can make our own version. Okay. The lab is pretty much all set up. We only have a few pieces of equipment that we need to finalize, some thermal control and very minor things. I would say within four to six weeks, we should have the product to market.